Welcome to the Cape Town region. The amazing thing about this region is that you can do endless day trips. Let's have a look at some of the more secret places to go. Our number 8, Iserfontein. Iserfontein is a beach town on the west coast and it has some amazing beaches. It looks like a pretty chilled and nice beach town. So if you're up for a nice day on the beach, this is the place to go. There are quite a lot of restaurants around, some nice cafes. We arrived on a rainy day, late afternoon, so the atmosphere was a bit gloomy. But you can see the beauty of this place. Number seven, Kalk Bay. Kalk Bay is often overseen by tourists as they pass by to reach Simon's Town with the famous penguins. But Kalk Bay itself is a super fun and super entertaining little town just outside of Cape Town. There are a lot of art galleries, a lot of colorful shops, a lot of cafes and restaurants, and the views over Falls Bay are just amazing. Walking through Kalk Bay. And there is one place, that's why we return each time we are in Cape Town. And this is the Ohana Beach Cafe. We are in the Ohana Beach Cafe in Kalk Bay and they have vegan food. And we are on the beach and we are thrilled. <laughs> A great place right on the ocean where you can have an amazing vegan meal and also non-vegan meal with some stunning views in a very relaxed atmosphere. Number six is Bloberg Strand Beach. Welcome to Bloberg Strand. What a view. Well, this is not like the idyllic beach. There are high-rise buildings in the back. There are a lot of places with party going on at night. There is a lot of kite surfing, which is interesting to watch. And normally there is a lot of wind here. But we love this beach because the sand is white and really soft. Granita on the beach. And look at these views. The views are simply amazing. On a clear day, you have the full skyline of Cape Town just in front of you with the Table Mountain and Signal Hill and Lion's Head. This is really amazing. It's quite busy at sunset here.
our number five, that is Bay. If you love to see the African penguins, but you don't like the tourist hotspots so much, better skip Simon's Town and go to Betty's Bay instead. It is much cheaper to see the penguins. There are just a few people around. The penguins are really friendly and will come very close to you. They just live in their natural habitat and do what they want all day long without tourists being hoarded through their habitat. We have been to both places, so if you want to see how Simon's Town looks like, check up the video I will link up here. Believe us, Betty's Bay is much more relaxed and much more enjoyable. Our number four is Talbach. Talbach is a small town at the entrance to the Cedarburg and it's an amazing place. So if you haven't seen our video from the Cedarburg, check it out. I will link it up here. This place is really amazing. You can have a perfectly relaxed time in Talbach, enjoying nice cafe and pastries in one of the many cafes. You can have wine tasting there, you can have olive tasting, and this just with locals. There are not so many tourists around and the scenery is just stunning. Our number three is Paternoster. This fishing town is on the west coast of South Africa and is currently called the Mykonos of South Africa because of all the whitewashed houses. Paternoster is a real weekend getaway from Cape Town. It has only whitewashed houses, very cozy, directly on the sea. And at the moment it's really a hype about this little town. So we will see what it has to offer. Today is a bit of a mystic atmosphere as we still have some fog. Yesterday was super, super hot. And at night it cooled down, but the cold sea and the hot inland weather make the fog here. So, but it's nice, it's warm anyway. They do have some amazing shops here of all things you don't need, but they are really nice. These were some impressions of the cute little fisherman village Paternoster. Marcus will fly the drone now because the fog has gone in the meanwhile.
our number two, Silvermine Dam and the Northuk Hike. Welcome to the Silvermine in Cape Town. Welcome. We wanted to come here already last time, but didn't have the time. And now it's summer, it's 37 degrees, midday, and we are doing the hike up to Northrop Peak. <laughs> it's a bit crazy, we have a lot of water, we have sunblock. We will manage. It is Sun Park connected, so our wildcard is valid here. Looks pretty peaceful, nice, and yeah, we are happy. This is the direction of Kelt Bay and Simonstown and here we have the open ocean and here we have the sweating Marcus. Super hot! We are being grilled on the mountain <laughs> but very nice and a bit windy so the breeze helps. Look at that beach! Isn't that amazing? The flats of Cape Town! What a path! Look behind me! The Falls Bay area! Amazing! But so hot! If you want to See how hot it is. Look at my shoes. I lose my soles. That's why we walked here. Look at this view of Hout Bay. Isn't that amazing? Wow. We are surrounded by a big city and here where we are, it's just quiet. No wonder, because no one is as crazy as we are and doing a hike with the seat. So no one is around us, but so worth it. So if you are in Cape Town and you love nature, do this Nordhook hike. It's really amazing. There is parking at the silver mine. It's a national park, so you have to pay an entrance fee, it's 160 yep. international, locals pay less, I don't know how much exactly, I forgot. 60 or 80. Yeah, something like this. And wildcard is valid, so take advantage, it's super amazing, super stunning. And down there is the silver mine dam, it has a great reddish water because it's full of iron. And it's cool and refreshing and we look forward to have a dip in there. By the way, if you go hiking around the Cape Peninsula, always bear in mind you have the Cape Cobra here. It's not like they're everywhere, we haven't seen one, but it's really a very poisonous snake. So stay on the tracks and just be a bit vigilant.
when you enter the park you can park your car here at the dam and then you walk this gravel loop and down here again this is what we did and this these are my shoes I have some more space in the luggage because I leave them here Hello. time for a swim but the color is really amazing look are you rusty? <laughs> yes my age is <laughs> not We just come out of the water, which was really refreshing, and we found a snake. Like this size. <laughs> In the water, brownish. And our favorite place, number one, the Langebahn Lagoon. Well, I have to say, we don't talk about the town of Langebahn, which we just passed by. This for us was nothing special but really spend time at this amazing lagoon. It feels like you are in a different world. Uh, when you drive from Langebahn in the direction south to Cape Town, to the West Coast National Park, you can spend your time at the Shark Bay. This is an area with free entrance to the beach, with parking, with some amenities like showers, a restaurant and toilets. Or welcome to West Coast National Park. You go into the West Coast National Park where as an additional bonus you can find some animals. On the way to our first height, the Seaberg height. They are not the big five. You more will find some, some seabirds, some flamingos, some zebras, some bugs, and a lot of other birds, of course. But there also you have amazing viewpoints. You have amazing heights. Best speed bump sign ever. And if you go on the peninsula of the west coast, you also have some amazing beaches which are much more quieter and also offer some rustic basic accommodation in a perfect setting. So if by any means you want to do one thing while you are in Cape Town, Think of the Langebahn Lagoon and maybe even spend a night there because it's really worth it. area 
so if you are here in the South African spring I can really recommend it and yeah also the beaches are supposed to be super beautiful and nice So I hope you enjoyed our 8 day trips from Cape Town which are a bit more secret day trips you will not find so many tourists doing these and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. This is immensely helpful to let our channel grow. Thank you for that and thank you for watching. See you next time in one of our videos from Switzerland again because we are back home.